All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go again. This is my third installment of reviewing Wave 1 of Super 7's Ultimate TMNT figures. And as you can see in this video, we will be reviewing the Foot Soldier. And like the others, this is sporting a unique sewer cover. This one is sporting a Foot Soldier head and two knives. All right, let's go ahead and pop the hood on this thing. This thing looks incredible. I can't wait to take this thing out the box. I really think this is the version of the Foot Soldier that everyone has been waiting for. And we're gonna go ahead and spin this box around, check out this box art. Um, same style, brick back, the graffiti. It's just the blue version for the bad guys. Um, and then on the top right, it's a foot soldier logo instead of the turtle logo. And like the others, there's a little blurb about this particular character, the foot soldier, Shredder's right hand mummy. Still super impressed with this box art. All right, let's go ahead and take this bad boy out. Now, Wave 1 came out with a lot of good characters, but I got a feeling this one's probably going to be my favorite. All right, like the last characters, there are two trays. Top tray has action figure and the main weapons, and then the second tray has four extra set of hands and the unpainted weapons tree. All right, 360 time. Let's check it out. So I'm sure as you'll notice, unlike the original 1988 version, this one is standing up straight and isn't in that hunched over crouched position. Yep, this guy looks fantastic. All right, let's see what this guy can do. Hey! So first off, uh, I noticed this action figure feels super solid, very good weight distribution. So let's go ahead and check this articulation. Neck, 360 degrees. And just like the last ones, they don't call these ultimates for nothing. Arms uh, all the way around, up, down, in, out, at the elbow, wrist, 360 degrees. Like I said before, um, these arms can go just about any way you want them to go which is expected considering he's a ninja. As you might expect, this action figure bends at the knee. Let's go ahead and check these ankles. Like I've said in previous videos, and I'll say it again in this one, but I am super impressed with these ankles. The full range on them really make it easy to pose these action figures. On the bottom of the foot, it says 2020 Viacom from Super 7. The other part on this action figure that I'm super impressed with are these battle damaged arm shields. They just look used and like they've been through some battles. And checking the torso, you find out that it spins all the way around. And just for the heck of it, let's test these legs out and see how far we can stretch the limits. All right, my favorite time. 
accessory time. So like I've said before, it comes with two different versions, the unpainted weapons rack and the ultimate painted edition weapons. So like me, I'm sure you'll notice right away that there's not a whole lot of extra detail on the painted ones. Just more or less a darker gray plastic and some silver highlights. And let's flip them over and check them out from the other side. Just a few little silver highlights on the rifle blaster. And of course the blade on the knife is painted and the tips of the shell biter are also painted. And the ninja stars are also painted silver. All right, hand, let's go ahead and show them all. We got pistol grip, just a closed fist, some Jedi looking hands, and we got some karate chopping hands, and last we got the two finger pointing hands. Oh wait, they don't talk. Photo op time. Let's get him next to that Technodrome. Looks a little big. Whoa, here we go. All right, as you can see, I've lined up all the versions of the Foot Soldier that I have. And we'll go through and check them out and compare them. All right, first off, on the left, we have a handmade bootleg version, and on the right is the NECA tune version. All right, and on the left is the Super 7 Ultimate, and on the right is the NECA Turtles in Time version. And of course, we bring it home to the original Playmates Foot Soldier. Well, guys, there they all are. I will say, um, as you guys know, I do have a lot of the original foot soldiers, uh, 34 to be exact, but I am super impressed by Super 7's Ultimate Edition foot soldier, and I'm pretty sure it's my new favorite. What, are you in a parade? You can't fit in that thing. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get some action shots real quick. Here is the Ultimate Raphael and Ultimate Baxter Stockman looking pretty perfect together. And just because I really like this figure, let's go ahead and do a few more rotating action shots just for the heck of it. So, what'd you guys think? You guys plan on army building these guys? Let me know down in the comments. Well, I think that's going to wrap it up for this one, guys. Thanks for watching my review of Super 7's Ultimate Foot Soldier.